welcome back here at Washington Homes Technical Center in Chipley, Florida, talking right now to Mary Davis in the Learning Resource Center. If you're a regular viewer of the show, you've seen many of the segments that we've shot here, highlighting some of the departments uh, recently with the cosmetology uh, program, also with the cybersecurity program. Lots of exciting things always happening right here at Washington Homes Technical Center. But today we're in one of the larger uh, areas, uh, physically at least, of the campus, certainly one of the nicer uh, almost library type uh, environments. Mary, talk a little bit about the LRC. What is it that you actually do here? Um, who would be interested in partaking in some of these programs? And talk a little bit about what you do right here at the uh, Learning Resource Center. Okay, the Learning Resource Center actually houses the adult education program for Washington and Holmes counties. And we work with students that are ages 16 up that are needing to earn their GEDs, their high school diplomas or if they are needing to remediate skills to uh, go into technical programs because every technical program has a requirement of a grade level requirement in reading math and language on the TAPE test. So if they come into this program or to this campus and take the TAPE test, do not get the levels they need to get certification in their technical program, they also come in here with us and work on their academic skills. Now, this building is not only adult education. We also have media services housed in this building uh, to serve every member of this uh, campus. And it's a, it's a beautiful facility. We're kind of disrupting things a little bit because it is yeah. kind of library-like in, um, in its demeanor. Uh, when I was a kid, you couldn't speak in libraries or you'd get a stern look at the very least and, and probably get ejected if you weren't careful. I noticed that you have a little bit more lenient atmosphere here. People are talking a little bit more. Um, sort of gotten away from that old school library uh, mentality, sort of. Well, it's not just a library because it is the adult education program and there's instruction going on in here. It is set up individualized. Every student that comes in um, receives a, an individual prescription of study based on whatever their needs and their goals and where they stand themselves. So each person is worked with individually. We have three different teachers actually working in this facility and we have uh, two other people that are working with us in an, an assistant uh, situation. They're working with the students. Each one of us are working with students in an individualized setting. Many times we have um, some group settings. We have individual rooms that we can go in and do in the classroom setting. Uh, we have uh, a computer lab. We have computers set up in here. Some of the coursework is done on computers. Some is done in individual workbooks. There's a, a teacher available to assist everything that's going on. So we're here to serve the student. Um, technically, the name of this building is the Wayne Saunders uh, yes. Learning Resource Center. Yes. Wayne, a longtime administrator of the school, and his wife Carolyn, a, a part of that program too. Uh, if, am yes. I correct? Yes, absolutely. Uh, Mr. Saunders was the original director of this school. The school started in 1967 and actually started without the facility. It started downtown in some of the uh, stores there in town. And then this started, the first building was built for 1968. Yes, Mr. Saunders was the director, and Mrs. Saunders was actually the coordinator of adult education and this Learning Resource Center. Both of them very passionate uh, about education. Both yes. of them extremely active within the community. Uh, I have the fortune of uh, going to Kiwanis with uh, Wayne. Mm -hmm. uh, have gotten to know him over the last few years. Um, You've got, as you point out, multiple things happening here. When you say you have several teachers, um, do they have specialties uh, between themselves? Yes, we have, we have it divided so that each teacher is working with a certain group. I work with the math students, and that can mean that they can be working on GED prep or they can be working on FCAT to get their uh, diploma back at the high school or they could even be working on the TEAS test, which is an entrance test for the nursing program. Uh, they could be working on levels for the different technical programs. But I would work with all of the math areas, all levels. Then we have a teacher that works with the language skills and the writing, and then a teacher that's working with the reading. Then, of course, we also deal with some science and social studies with uh, the GED and, and with the nursing prep. So we divide up those duties so that we can reach everyone. 
every time that I've been in this building, it seems to have lots of activity. Yes. Um, I've never been in here when there weren't um, a, a fair number of people all pretty diligently working. Now, some of the other programs have uh, a little more relaxed atmosphere, it seems, where they're, they're cutting up a little bit. These people are serious, and as you point out, they're trying to uh, come back for remedial education, either to get their GED or, or pass an FCAT. Um, I see a lot of serious students right here. Well, that's great. <laughs> and it is a different setting because we do have open entry. Students can come in at any time. They have their goals. They are adults. They have responsibilities. They have other obligations. So they're in here to get it done so that they can move on and pursue their other goals. So. And, and uh, you, you, uh, you point out that they are adults. There, there are people who, um, in many cases, maybe have been downsized, a uh, good way of saying they lost their job somewhere else, or they're for yes. remedial uh, education to maybe get a different career yes. um, to satisfy some of the requirements, uh, like you said, to get a GED. Mm -hmm. um, some folks who have had second thoughts about where they are in life and want uh, a little bit more educationally, so again, that they can move on and maybe mm -hmm. better that job opportunity. What a wonderful thing. This t We keep saying it over and over, but it, right here in this room particularly, we see that this truly is the jewel of the community. Um, at one time, being a, a very large effort between the two counties, not so much now, more Washington County, but certainly some uh, input from Holmes. Um, what an opportunity here, and, and not have to go to Mariana or Panama City or Dothan or farther um, to get those educational opportunities. Um, how long have you been with the uh, facility here? Oh, good question. I actually started out here over 30 years ago, and I've been working here in the Learning Resource Center with adult education my whole career. just can't keep a job, can you? I like this <laughs> job. <laughs> and it's obvious. Um, just speaking to you, watching your face when you explain what goes on in here, um, it, 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 you can tell that you're passionate. But, you know, that's sort of a common thread here at Washington Homes Technical Center, talking to the instructors, talking to the staff and the administration, I would dare say almost everyone we've spoken to has been, if nothing else, passionate about what they do here, about what they accomplish here, and that's strong. Uh, what, what, how much better and easier it is to do a good job if you like what you're doing and, more importantly, are passionate about the outcome of that job? Many of us um, started out here um, and have spent our whole careers out here. We believe in the school. We believe in what we do for our community, and that's all it's about is we're just serving the community. Well, geographically, you're located sort of right here in the center, in the hub, if you will, of the, of the physical plant of, yes. uh, of the tech center. But um, philosophically, it seems also to be the hub. It seems to be the, the, uh, uh, that center, that educational center um, about, around which everything else seems to re uh, revolve and evolve. Um, Again, um, we appreciate what you do. We appreciate, uh, we're going to be talking to some of your other instructors here, some yes. of your other teachers, uh, and we hope that we'll be able to uh, uh, share a few words with some of your students. Absolutely. I think that the best testimonial uh, comes from uh, the consumer of a service, and um, just from what we've been able to casually speak to uh, some of the folks in here over the last few visits, um, it's obvious that people appreciate what they get here. What does it cost? Um, to, did you charge by the credit hour? Or how, how does I, I understand how some of the certification programs work, but how do, how do you charge for your part? Adult education is now charging $30 per semester, and that is per state legislature. It started last year. Uh, so $30 for the semester, and in and out, however many times you need to, it's a one-time fee. And that is the only fee as far as adult education is concerned. Now, if you're going on to take your GED test, there is an additional fee for the GED test. But we encourage students to come on in and work with us and let us help them with the GED. We even, uh, right now, the GED test costs $70. But if you come in and work with us and take the um, official GED practice test and show that you can pass it, then uh, they will get a discount. It will be only $50 to take the test. But we want the word to get out this year that you need to get your GED test before 2014. Um, they are changing the GED test. It will be a computer-based test. It will be a totally different format, different testing situation. It will be uh, through the Pearson testing labs 
and it will be an additional cost. Right now the state's saying around $130 to take the test in the year 2014. There, many people have taken the GD test and may lack one or two sections to actually pass it, and that score, those scores are sitting there waiting on them to finish it up. They must finish it the year 2013. All scores will be wiped out. All partial scores will be wiped out. And we will start with a clean slate in 2014. And an additional charge. And an additional charge. Wow. So you know, we're encouraging people to get in this year and let's get this finished. Yeah, I mean, that's strong. You know, going back to your $30 per semester charge, we've actually had the opportunity to speak to some people who complained about that. I say shame. If you if you don't think thirty dollars is a reasonable fee for a semester um, to to have this kind of uh, opportunity, that's that's a very modest fee, and I just don't understand that that complaint. I understand nobody likes change, and when you have something for free and then you charge for it, obviously you get a little bit of chin music and maybe a little bit of heartburn from it. But um, but my goodness, it's still a very very uh, to say the least reasonable charge. It is a reasonable charge. The reason there has been so much complaint and concern is that there was no fee for adult education up until last year. So it was a change in people were not trying, not realizing that they were going to have to pay. They would come out here thinking, well, I've been here before. Why am I having to pay now? Who's saying I have to pay now? It is hard for the students that are coming into adult education. Many of those do not have jobs right now. We're trying to give them the basis to move on and make something out of their careers, and it is very hard for many of them to have that $30 to take away from their food, to take away from their children, to take away from the gas. Everything is a big expense for them right now. So we understand that concern. We have talked to uh, many of our supporting agencies, and we have a lot of support from One Stop and Tri-County Community Council. They're all there to help, and so we refer people to other agencies to see if they can get some additional support. We want them out here. We want to help them. Yeah, and I certainly understand all of that, and, and we can certainly be sensitive to that. At the same time, I think that many times people don't appreciate something if it's given to them for free, necessarily. Um, you, you tend to appreciate something a little bit more if you have to work for it, um, not to say that they're not working for what they accomplish once they're here. Um, so, and that's, I guess that's just a basic difference. We can agree to disagree, but as, a, as an independent businessman, I don't have a problem with people paying for, for what they get. Um, you're doing a wonderful job, Mary. We appreciate your time, especially today, and taking this opportunity to speak with us. Um, it, it's a great facility. Um, it's clean, it's bright, it's cheerful. Everybody here is diligently working. Um, you've got to be feel fulfilled. Um, uh, how long are you going to do this? Uh, I mean, ah. is, when, is, when is enough? Uh, uh, are, are you looking at retirement somewhere on the horizon? Yes. <laughs> I'm looking at retirement because I did get into the drop, so I will have to retire. But I do love my job, and I'm sure I'll be involved with adult education forever. I was going to say, uh, I can just envision you coming here after retirement and helping out on a volunteer basis, if nothing yeah. else. I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will. Uh, again, thank you for your passion. Thank you for, uh, and, and all those like you, uh, without whom we wouldn't have these things, from Wayne Saunders to your staff, uh, to your administration, your teachers, uh, to the students. Um, we have a wonderful thing right here in Chipley in the middle of Washington County, what we call the real Florida, uh, and that is Washington Homes Technical Center. Um, just a little side note, we spoke with the governor not too long ago, you know, 35% of the kids graduating college are moving back home with mom and dad. They can't get jobs. Here at Washington Homes Technical Center, you're providing opportunities for real jobs. Cosmetology program, 100% placement. Every person that graduates from that uh, program can get a job if he or she wants to work. And I'm sure that uh, you have similar uh, uh, results uh, from where you are, you're at. One thing that really strikes home with me is that you say these are adults, they're here because they want to be, they're here voluntarily, they want to better their lot in life. They want a better education so they can get a better job. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being with us today. Okay, thank you. Here at Washington Homes Technical Center, here in the Learning Resource Center, uh, again, the jewel of Washington County, right here at Washington Homes Technical Center. If you are more interested in, uh, in, adi in additional information, how you can get involved, their website is whtc.us. You can stop by the... Uh, Student services uh, area, find out how you may qualify for grants, uh, financial aid. 
they're going to make their every opportunity for you to get uh, a, an education, for you to accomplish what you want to get, whether it's a certification for a particular industry that you uh, in which you want to work. Um, they're going to do what it takes. We'll be right back with more from Real Florida Magazine. Welcome back. Still here at the Learning Resource Center at Washington Homes Technical Center uh, in uh, another of our series of exploring exactly what uh, WHTC has to offer. In this case, adult education. Uh, Pamela Edwards here with us now. Uh, talk a little bit uh, about what you're doing here, Pamela, how you got involved and, and what it is that you're taking advantage of here. Okay, well, I always loved this place. I came out here years ago and uh, I took up nursing assistance. I got certified in that and then I worked at a facility and then I came back and I took up cosmetology. I got licensed and then after that I opened up Pamela Beauty Supply Salon. And uh, I was very thrilled about it. I worked at it until I retired. And now I'm coming out of retirement to take up something else. Ms. Davis said that I need to take this new program that they're offering over there. And she's made good sound judgment and I'm listening to her. So I think I'm going to make up my mind to do what she asked me to. Now, what is this new program that you'll be taking? It's got something to do with computer, and I love working with computers and everything. And um, she's been kind of pushing me over that way. She says I'm a peaceful person, and I got to be that way since I came here because I used to be very shy. And uh, this is a, like a family-orientated building, and the people here, everybody get along, and we love each other and everything. The teachers are terrific. And... Um, I just, I love this place. I love the people and I love learning. And I've learned so much. Well, and you know, that's the atmosphere. That's the feeling that we get walking in here. Yeah. Uh, everybody seems to uh, know one another. It's kind of a family type atmosphere. It is. It is. You would enjoy it. And I will advise anybody that if they, you know, want to uh, further their career and everything, you know, to come out here and everything and get to know us all. We're great people, Christians. Now, you're going to be working on your third career, uh, at least through uh, the, the, the Learning Resource Center. Yes, I am. Um, my goodness, they've got to have some kind of an award for somebody such as yourself who has truly taken full advantage of the facility. I really am. It's just that I just don't want to stop working and stop being involved, you know. And I'd like to just be in a position where I can help the community and you know, we had just had a, a food drive here before Christmas, and we raised so much food and everything, you know. And I like to help out in that kind of area, and, you know, it's, it's just a joy to me, a thrill to me. Well, Pamela, we appreciate you taking the time to speak with us. Um, again, everyone that we speak to, whether they're a teacher or a student or an administrative uh, staff, um, all have that same passion and my goodness that passion certainly comes through with you uh, you've certainly taken advantage of it and uh, what do you see the future hold for you well I'm kind of a minister I like to pastor and stuff and like I said I have a heart for people I have a heart to help out as you know as wherever I'm needed I'll do it you know and um, I, I see myself just pastoring people ministering to people well, with all of the careers that you mentioned that you've enjoyed, they're all people businesses. There are people, I mean, my goodness, cosmetology, uh, how many folks a day did you speak to all oh day long? Oh, my goodness, yes. I had a lot of clients, and I sold products in Pamela's Beauty Supply Salon, and I did hair, and, you know, and before I came out here, you know, I always did hair, and I started when I was a kid, and I used to practice on little dolls. And uh, every time I get a doll for Christmas, I learn how to plait, the braid, and everything. And everybody in the neighborhood, they always come to get me to do their hair. And I had a passion for that, and I had a passion for just taking care of old people, helping people. You know, I love that, too. And uh, so I knew I was going to go in that direction, and I did. I fulfilled my dream. Well, as someone who's becoming more of an old person every day, I appreciate your passion in that respect. And thanks again for taking the time to speak with us today. Thank you. We're here at Washington Homes Technical Center in the Learning Resource Center. Uh, again, in our series of exploring uh, all the offerings of Washington Homes Technical Center. If you want to find out more about it, you can find uh, much more information on their website, whtc.us. Um, and just come out here to the Student Center. Talk to some of the students, some of the staff. 
I think you'll find that there's truly something for everybody. You're watching Real Florida Magazine, and if you or someone you know would like to be a guest on the show, or maybe there's something you'd like to see featured, just give us a call, drop us an email, or visit our website at realfloridamagazine.org. We'll be right back with more from Real Florida Magazine. <music> 